Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about hats, and not just any hat, we're going to talk about the Panama. First of all, did you know the Panama is not actually made in Panama, it's made in Ecuador? Today, we're going to look at some Panama hats, and one in particular, a foldable Panama hat, which is great for traveling. I'm going to show you how to fold it, and we're also going to talk a little bit about the history of the Panama hat. The Panama hat is a traditional straw hat. It's a wide brimmed hat and it's made from palm like uh, substance. Um, it's uh, straw colored. A really good pan Panama hat isn't going to be bleached white. Uh, it'll be a nice straw color like this example. And you can see on here, uh, there's a beautiful weave on here. And this is actually a foldable Panama hat. It's got a wide brim. It's nice and uh, lightweight, it's breathable, it's a great summer accessory. And people often wear these to cricket matches in England. I really like this hat, you can uh, put it on your head, you can tilt it a bit. It's a really cool hat. You wanna make sure that the shape's good. Anyway, good summer hat. So let's talk a little bit about the history of the Panama. The Panama has a pretty long history. It was first encountered in the 16th century by Spanish conquistadors who encountered natives in Ecuador wearing this type of hat. Later, it was adopted by Ecuadorians and they refined the weaving and creation of these hats. Most hats today are actually made in Ecuador. Of course, the name Panama hat is actually a misnomer because the hat's from Ecuador. It probably came from the fact that Panama was a crossing. It's the narrowest part of Central America and it's actually famous for the Panama Canal and um, maybe the fame of the hat was further enhanced when Theodore Roosevelt visited Panama in 1906 and wore the hat. Uh, the name's been popularized ever since as the Panama hat. It's a very stylish and elegant hat often worn by celebrities and politicians and most people when they're going to cricket matches. The cool thing about the Panama hat is it's pretty much entirely handmade. It's woven from uh, palm, as we've said. Uh, the uh, tequila palms are harvested, boiled, dried, split, and sorted according to their quality before um, being woven into thin bands. The braids are then wrapped around a wooden block and sewn together. The weaving can take anywhere from a few days uh, to several months and that's why good Panamas are actually quite pricey and so the price of the hat is going to vary depending on the uh, fineness of the weave and the complexity. The finest Panama hats come from a town called Monte Cristi, not to be confused with Monte Cristo cigars. They vary in terms of the style and where they're made. Uh, some of the most common ones uh, uh, the fedora, it's a classic uh, style. Foldable Panama hats, generally identified because you'll see a ridge in the crown. And the method for folding them is pretty straightforward. Um, essentially what you're going to do is pull the broom down, okay, and then we're going to basically push the crown together. Okay, and at that point <laughs> you got something that looks like a floppy bucket hat. Um, then you want to start rolling from uh, the back of the hat and we're just going to roll it up nicely. Okay, don't want to roll it too tightly. You wind up with something like that. Then hopefully you have a nice tube that uh, you can put your hat in. Um, this one uh, comes from the hat maker uh, Lock and Company in London. Uh, so you pop the lid on your tube Take that off, and the hat, very simply, is going to go in the tube. Now, the trick here, we can just knock it a bit to make sure that it's sort of all the way out, and then when you're done, you put your lid on, and this is going to prevent the hat being squashed in your luggage, okay? Um, so it's quite a rigid uh, tube. You can use any cardboard tube, but you want the diameter to be fairly large because you don't want to squash your hat up. So you pack, you go where you're going, okay? And hopefully when you get there, you take your hat out. You don't want to leave your hat in storage for very long. Um, ideally less than 48 hours, and hopefully you're going to get to where you're going a little bit quicker. When you get to where you're going, 
take your tube again and um, you're going to pull your hat out. I always get caught out. There's a little ridge where the uh, paper covering on this uh, just kind of catches on the hat. That's okay. Just gently kind of ease it out. That's going to come out. Okay. And to get it back into shape, I'm just going to flatten it out again. Uh, we want a hat band to be in the right place. Just pop it all out, just like that. Um, and we're going to put our hat on, shape our brim, and off we go. We're ready to be out in the sun. I love this hat. It's great for traveling and it keeps the sun off your face so you don't get burned. You can tell I'm English. I got bright lobster red in the sun. The Panama hat is the best thing ever for avoiding sunburn. So a Panama hat is a great item for traveling with and you can fold this one. Look for a hat that has this ridge. Okay. And that's it. The other thing I like about this hat is actually the weave on it. It's beautiful just looking at this. Um, you can sort of pick it out in the light, but you know, this was for me a very expensive item, but I love wearing it. I love looking at it. The weave is great and it's actually lasted me really well. So that's my story about Panama hats. Hope you get one. Hope you enjoy it. And hopefully, if you like this, like and subscribe and leave a comment below. And let me know if there are other kinds of hats that you're interested in and we can look at those too. Anyway, take it easy and until next time, thanks for joining us.